Okay, this is Volcanoes, Nature's Incredible Fireworks by David L. Harrison. The genre is expository nonfiction, which gives facts and information. Look for facts about volcanoes as you read. Do we know when volcanoes will erupt? Ding! Earth is never still. Every day, somewhere, it trembles and quivers. Every day, somewhere, volcanoes erupt. From far off, they look like beautiful fireworks, but up close, a volcano is no fun. What looks like sparks are fiery blobs of melted rock called lava. Gases and geysers of scalding hot steam, ground up rocks and gritty ashes blast into the air and turn the sky dark. If too much gas is trapped inside, part of the mountain may blow off, hurling rocks heavier than elephants for miles. Some explosions cause floods, mudslides, and avalanches that roar downhill, destroying everything in their path. But not all volcanoes explode. If enough gas escapes first, red rivers of lava flow out through the cracks and crevices. Some kinds of lava ooze and slide slowly. Others stream down the mountain as quickly as cars and city traffic. Okay, let's turn the page. We're on page 388, 388. How do rocks get so hot that they melt? What causes volcanoes? The answers lie deep beneath our feet in the four parts of the earth, the crust, the mantle, the outer core, and the inner core. So guys, that part is really important. Make sure that you check out these pictures in this story because the illustrations are going to be very, very, very important. An author does not put these things in the book unless they think it's important. So make sure you check that part out, okay? The crust where we live is covered by land and oceans. In places under the seas, the crust is only three miles deep. It may be 43 miles thick beneath the mountains. Below the crust, the mantle stretches down 1,800 miles. Rocks there melt to a gooey paste or tar called magma. So I want you to know that the important thing to know about magma and lava, they are kind of the same thing, but we call it magma when it's inside a volcano and it's lava once it comes out of the volcano. Okay? Okay, we're over on page 389. The core is a huge ball more than 2,100 miles to its center. It is mostly iron, so hot that the outer core is liquid, but the inner core is solid. Pressure there is so great, it keeps the iron from melting. So it's hot enough to melt iron, but because of the immense pressure pushing in, it keeps it from melting. The crust, this is really important to pay attention to. This is really important for your test, so pay attention to this part. The crust is not one piece like a coconut shell. It is several large pieces called plates that cover the planet like a giant jigsaw puzzle. The plates rest on the mantle below. They are moving, but they move slowly. Some take years to creep inches. And if you look at that picture down there at the bottom there on page 389, it's kind of showing you the different plates. And if you guys look up at my screen, you can kind of see where I'm pointing. These are the plates, and do you see how it kind of fits together like a jigsaw puzzle? Okay, let's turn the page to 390. Any questions so far? Okay, where two plates meet, the force is so great 
that rocks bend or even break. That sends tremors called earthquakes through the ground. Most earth earthquakes are small and do no harm, but sometimes part of a plate gets caught and when it finally snaps back, the ground shudders hard and causes great damage. In 1906, a major earthquake destroyed much of San Francisco, California. Most magma moves toward the crust where it cools and sinks again. But some magma breaks through weak spots by rising through cracks like chimney flues until at last it bubbles or blasts free onto the surface. Where two plates meet, the mantle grows hotter and volcanoes form near the edges. Many big volcanoes form in the ocean. We don't see them unless they rise above the water as islands. And someone asked me earlier this morning, what state has the most volcanoes? I think it was Ethan. And I was talking about Hawaii. Oh, and we're about to read about that right now. So look up at 380, sorry, 391. The state of Hawaii is a group of volcanoes. Some stand 30,000 feet above the ocean floor. That is more than five and one half miles high. Around the Pacific Ocean, so many plates collide with one another that many of the world's greatest eruptions have happened there. We call it the Ring of Fire. I hope everybody's paying attention. Around the Pacific Ocean, I already read that part. <laughs> so third paragraph in, here we go. In the United States, Mount St. Helens erupted in 1980 with such force that part of the mountain exploded. One of the most famous volcanoes in history is Mount Vesuvius in Italy. When it erupted in AD 79, it buried the cities of Pompeii and Herculaneum under ash, mud, and lava. And then notice you can see down there in the picture, those red dashed lines, do you see that going all along? That is the Pacific Plate and that going all around it, they also it's also known as the Ring of Fire. That's where many, many many volcanoes form. Okay, let's turn to page 392. Okay, so over thousands of years, a volcano may erupt again and again. Between eruptions, it may sleep in silence for long periods. After each eruption, lava cools into rock, and ash settles to the ground. Layers of lava and ash slowly build the volcano until it becomes a tall mountain. As new magma pushes against the surface, rocks move and the ground shakes. These earthquakes help us know the volcano may be getting ready to erupt. And then if you see in our picture here, so remember if it's under or inside the volcano, it's called magma, and so as it explodes out and it's on top of the volcano there, that would be considered lava, okay? We study volcanoes to learn when a sleeping giant may suddenly awaken to belch hot gases and spit out fiery lava. So what is this author comparing a volcano to right now? Are you going to answer my question? I have a question. That's, what is the author comparing a volcano to right there, Anthony? A big monster. Yeah, a big monster, and it's saying that it's burping hot gases and spitting out lava like a monster would do. Ethan, what's your question? Um, so, so the part that hasn't erupted yet is the magma, and then the part that's erupting now is lava? Well that hot melted rock when it's inside the volcano it's magma and once it comes out of the volcano they call it lava okay, okay so we're on the second paragraph here on 393 we still can't predict 
when the next volcano will blow its top or split its sides, but three things we know for sure. Volcanoes are beautiful. Is that a fact or an opinion, Riley Brandt? Yeah, that would be an opinion, right? Some people might think they're only scary and not beautiful at all, right? They are dangerous. Is that a fact or an opinion? Anthony. That's a fact because it can be proven, right? Right? We can prove that volcanoes are dangerous. And they are nature's incredible fireworks. Mm. That is the author comparing the volcano to fireworks. Just like the author compared the volcano to a giant, so I'm not sure we could consider that a fact. I would say that's more of an opinion. So remember, the difference between a fact and an opinion is an opinion is a feeling that you have about something, and a fact is something that you can check it, research it, and see if it's true. Okay? And that is the end of volcanoes.